Hey, what's up? It's Snell. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Blog. All you maniacs out there, we are blasting Douglasville, Pennsylvania's Outer Heaven. Realms of Eternal Decay on Sony, I mean Relapse Records. So fucking sick. I really hope that Sony rumor is not true, but if it is... Let's just keep. Let's just hope they keep the current roster they have because Relapse has a pretty awesome roster of bands. But this release right now is probably the best they have. So fucking good, awesome artwork, awesome tunes, and yeah, they're on tour right now. A full hell. If they come through your town, go say hi to Austin and the boys snag some merch and yeah get fucking stoked because if you've never seen these guys live they are going to fucking destroy your hometown and it's going to be awesome so definitely get into realms of eternal decay by outer heaven but we're going to travel to italy to discuss some italian death metal and i'm talking about these warriors of Italian necro metal, Buya, with Chivalry of Death on Caligari Records, and here we have some warriors of fast, evil, loud death metal that reeks of low-key influence, black and death metal acts that are kind of more on the obscure side. Hence the word low-key, just in case you didn't. You aren't familiar with that slang term. You know, more obscure acts from the 80s and 90s. And these dudes also, according to their band camp, love the gods of heavy metal. Man of War. Except for there's no lyrics in here about wearing jeans and leather, not Cracker Jack clothes. But hey, other bands play. Boy, a kill. And uh, Chivalry of Death is proof of that. Like, I know that there's... Obviously, like I said, some very obscure late 80s, early 90s death and black metal influences on here. But what I hear most prevalent is Sepultura's Morbid Visions alongside Sarcophago, Rotting, and uh, probably a little bit of INRI and Sc Scourge of Law. Fuck yeah. Yeah, definitely. I would put all that together and that's definitely a big influence that I hear when it comes to Boya. But you could probably also throw like Sex Trash, uh, Volcano, acts like that from South America in here. Because I feel like these Italians definitely dig the South American extreme metal scene from that time period. But most of all, definitely early Sepultura, before Schizophrenia, I'm talking, you know, pretty much when Morbid Visions came out, nothing really sounded like it, to my knowledge, outside of, like, maybe Sodom and shit like that. So, coming from South America, I still think Morbid Visions is one of the best Sepultura releases, right next to Beneath the Remains and Arise. But that's just my opinion, but I feel like Boya here on Chivalry of Death, they really do that, like, style of Sepultura very, very well. And I am not, not even remotely talking about new Sepultura in any way, shape, or form. Just in case you didn't know that, you know, Sepultura existed in the 80s and shit. Yes, they did, and they were ahead of their time, and I would love to get my hands on Morbid uh, Visions, but for right now, let's talk more about Boya and Chivalry of Death. This is the CD demo slash EP released on Caligari Records. Hails for sending this over, because I was meaning to get a tape copy of this, but I kind of slept on it. But this is fast, evil, fucking loud, and just awesome. Like, it seriously fucking rules. Like, as evil as it is, and just as awesome as everything sounds, it just has this charm to it. 
And that charm exists in the old school sound and vibes that this brings to your speakers. It's fucking great. From the promo photos to the lyrical content, it's fucking fun and it's just great. Like, the track Rotten 666, The Ancient Ones, From the Depths, and Chivalry of Death. I'm pretty sure there's an instrumental track on here. Call the Necromatters, the intro track, yeah. And then the Ancient Ones, Rotten 666, which is probably my favorite track on here. It's definitely the most fun. And then, like, from the death, Chivalry of Death. And, yeah, you can't really go wrong with this release right here. It's five tracks of just vicious, awesome, old-school death metal. With just a little, little blackened edge to it. But, yeah, if you're a fan of fucking Sepulchral Tours, Morbid Visions, this is like the second coming right here. So fucking good. Love the Executioner mask and stuff. I like when bands kind of have like a mascot type thing. Like how Scorched has like that guy that looks like Matt on like the cover and stuff. Like with the hair in front of the face and everything. I think that's cool. Like having that kind of, you know mascot type guy like Paul Bearer used to use the little um the little guy like on uh Foundations of Burden and Sorrow and Extinction he, that little guy was on those two albums and then I think he disappeared when I stopped caring about Paul Bearer in that aspect like they got a little too proggy for me but I really dig the whole executioner shit I, I think it's just awesome and the lyrical content on here is just fun, evil, not really too serious. Like, this feels a little tongue-in-cheek to me at times, and that's awesome. But the music is nothing tongue-in-cheek at all. It's just fucking gnarly, fun, death metal, just with that black edge to it. Very, very evil stuff. Just total warriors of necro-metal from Itali Italia. From Italy. <laughs> and Chivalry of Death is such a fucking kick ass debut for a band like Boya. Somebody really needs to grab this and put it on wax. Because it fucking deserves it. It's one of those releases that it has a charm to it. And that charm exists in its influences along with its production. And it's great. Five tracks of just killer old school death metal. With, in my opinion, in a more obscure South American Black and Death influence. And I might be wrong on that one, but to me, that's what I hear. is mostly sarcophago, sex trash, fucking sepulchral, morbid visions. That's it, though. Just morbid visions. Not schizophrenia. Not beneath the remains. Definitely not a rise. Morbid Visions. But, I really love Caligari Records, and I love the ear they have to the underground when it comes to picking up bands like Boya, because, like, how else would you hear about these dudes unless you lived in Italy and were part of the Italian death metal scene? But, like I said, you get five tracks. Call of the Necromatter, The Ancient Ones, Rotten 666, From the Depths, and the title track. Chivalry of Death. And this is great stuff. I love this promo photo again. I'll show you. And the blasphemers are... From the left... Anti-Urban, a.k.a. Scornhammer. The Road Warrior on Necro Strings. Chromac, who's on Rituals and Black Spells. And... Giespi DP. He's the axe beater. Fucking awesome. That's what I mean. It's a little tongue in cheek and it's just fucking sick. I love the whole necro metal thing. Like, it's just a cool fucking term and that cover artwork is just vicious. Fucking just getting beaten to death. Jeez. But yeah, if you're in the fucking old school death metal, you can't go wrong with Boya's Chivalry of Death. All music by Boya. 
and all lyrics by uh, Chromac. Sick, sick shit on Caligari Records. Definitely get into this bad boy. Because for a demo slash EP, fuck yeah, guys. You fucking killed it. Because I, I couldn't stop listening to this, and I still can't. Really, really love it. Available on Caligari Records. I will put the Bandcamp link below. Fuck yes. And we've been blasting Douglasville, Pennsylvania's Outer Heaven. Realms of Eternal Decay on Relapse Records. This just dropped today officially, so go grab a copy. If you have the money, do it. It's totally worth it. If not, just check it out digitally. And then maybe pull the trigger in the future, but this is something you're gonna wanna get your hands on. It's fucking badass. And let's hope that the rumors are not true when it comes to Sony and Relapse. But yeah, I have to keep my mouth shut about that because I even deleted the stuff off my uh, Facebook. Even though the guy that sent it to me, you know, he left his name and everything. He was kind of like, ah. Eh. All you need to know is the person wouldn't lie to me. They work in office, etc., etc. So I was like, "All right, bummer." Like, cause I, I have friends that work at Relapse, and if Sony comes in, I don't want to see my friends lose like a job like that. Like, Relapse was my first job ever, and I fucking broke my ankle like my second week on the job and had to quit. It was a bummer, but like that was kind of like my dream job, and I lost it because I got hurt. So I can't imagine, you know, I really hope that if it is true, they keep on the staff, they don't start dropping bands or anything like that, and they just continue to release some awesome stuff like the new Outer Heaven and stuff like that. I'm not sure what else... I really didn't like the new Pig Destroyer, so I can't say, oh yeah, the new Pig Destroyer, I was not a fan. But they do have a reissue of High on Fire, Bless Black Wings, so that's good. And Surrounded by Thieves as well by High on Fire, but if you want to get into some awesome fucking Italian death metal, you can't go wrong with Caligari's Boya and Chivalry of Death. Fuck yeah. And fuck yeah, Caligari Records. I love you guys. I love Relapse as well, but things are changing in the metal world, and I'm a little behind, I guess. I'm just so used to, you know, labels like Head Split and fucking 20 Bucks Spin. I just completely forgot, you know, the whole entire collecting thing when it comes to Relapse and whatnot. Like, there's a reason they have 18 color variants and shit it's because those pre-orders aren't just so you get the album. It's pretty much so you get a color. It's it's all about money. I mean, it's that's just how it always is and always has been. But that's for almost every record label when it comes to releasing and then reissuing different color variants. Like, I know there's a new Tomb Mold variant. If you already have the album... Do you really need another copy? I mean, I understand if you're a collector or whatever, and you're one of that those type of collectors that have to have every single edition of Joey Jojo, Shabadoo, Sings the Blues. I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Because right, right now, I spent my last $5 on Pop-Tarts. But... Yeah, we were blasting Outer Heaven, Realms of Eternal Decay. If you like death metal, get into it. And again, if you like death metal, Boya, Chivalry of Death on Caligari. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells.